In this video I'm going to show you how to check an idle air control valve. First thing you want to do is on a stone cold engine, start the car. Next you want to unplug the idle air control valve. Now turn the car off. Now the reason why we did that is because when you start the car and it's cold out, the engine will uh, make the pintle on the idle air control valve come out to let more air in because it has to add more fuel. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the idle air control valve, measure how far that pintle is out, and then um, put it back in, start the car up, wait for it to get warm and idle smoothly, and then do the same thing, unplug it while it's idling, and uh, remove it, measure the pintle width, and see if it has went out because as it gets hotter the engine will make the pintle will close the pintle against the throttle body so it doesn't allow any extra air to come in so we, we're gonna compare the difference in pintle length at that point so it looks like <clears throat> the total length from base to tip is about seven eighths of an inch of the valve not anyway now we're gonna put this this back in and we're going to let the car warm up and get to a good idle and then take it out and measure the pintle width again. So something else to gain a little bit extra information. Um, where this goes into the throttle body, I put a screwdriver in and pushed it back to where this is going to seat and put my finger here. And if we put it up, you can see right where my finger starts is where... Um, the pintle will seat when it's fully closed. So you see there's that little gap between the lip of the pintle and my finger which means that this is open a little bit so that's telling us it is working. So I'm gonna put it back in now. Also I forgot to mention the reason why you unplug it while the engine is running is because the engine controls the pintle width and if you turn off the engine and then unplug it, when you turn off the engine it's going to remove the pintle. So you want it to freeze it in time of where, where the pintle position is and that's what you get by unplugging it. Okay, let's start it up. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. The idle has kind of settled down. So now I'm going to unplug the IAC motor and then turn the car off. Okay, so uh, upon measuring this I can see that it's pretty much exactly the same length as it was when the engine was stone cold. And um, that's telling me that this idle air control valve is not functioning properly it's not the pintle is not going out or in with respect to engine temperature so um, what I'm gonna do this this isn't a foolproof test there could still be issues with the wiring to this motor um, but it's a good place to start uh, the reason why I'm even checking this out on this car is because one of the symptoms is when I rev the engine uh, after it's warm it tends to bog down and sometimes even stall but when it's cold it it doesn't have any problem at all and I believe that it's because of this and uh, this is getting stuck and allowing too much air to get in even after the engine has warmed up I'm also seeing positive fuel trim numbers indicating that there is a lean condition and the engine is adding fuel. I checked all around for vacuum leaks and I cannot find any so that's really leading me to this valve.